In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make an interactive quiz game using PowerPoint, which can keep points using Visual Basic Code. So let us start. The first thing which you need to do is go to Slideshow, set up Slideshow and select Blouse at a Kiosk. For making this quiz game, we need to show the Developer tab. If you are using 2013 PowerPoint, just do what I am doing. All this, check the description down below. Now click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon. In the right hand side, check mark Developer and click OK. Now we need to access the Slide Master. So go to View, click Slide Master. This is a slide master. So what we need to do now is right click the slide master and plus duplicate slide master. In the duplicated slide master, go to the title only slide, which is this. Now remove all the text boxes. Now go to home and add a text box here. In the text box, you can type your end message. I will be typing congratulations. Now we need to insert a label using the developer tab. So click on developer and select label. It is represented by a capital A. Draw the label here. Now click on label and plus properties. In the name Change label 1 to points. This is going to show how many points the player has scored at the end of the slideshow. Now in caption, instead of label 1, type 0. Now close the properties. Now we need to insert some code. So select the label and click view code. So the first code, this code is going to be used when you answer the question correctly. So let us type the code. All the codes will be available in the description down below. So you can just copy and paste it if you want to. The second line tells us how many points to add when the player answers the question correctly. In my case, it is 10 points. You can type any message that you want to. I am typing, your answer is correct. Well done. VB OK only means that in the message box, there should only be one button which is OK. Uh, after that, the correct answer represents the title. The fourth line tells us that on click of the correct answer, the user should go to the next slide. Now copy paste this code. Instead of correct, you can type wrong. And if you wish, you may give negative points for a wrong answer. I'll give minus 5 points for a wrong answer. In message box, you can type your answer is wrong. Okay, now our third code. This code is used for exiting a PowerPoint show and for changing the points value to zero. In the left hand side, uh, you will be able to see the slide layout 24. Whatever number it shows here, just type that in the second line. For me, it shows slide layout 24. Okay, we have written all the code. Now, exit the Visual Basic. If you want to change the font and the size of the points, you can select it and click on properties. Next to font, and there are three dots. Just click on that. 
you can change the font and the size here so I make it a bit bigger you can also adjust it leave a little space in the light side because uh, if the value comes in two digit or three digit um, there might be room for it or else it just covers the point now make one more text box and put it over here just type your points Make it a bit bigger. Okay, that is fine. Now click on slide master and click close master view. Now in slide one and a title, let the title be the quiz game. In the subtitle, I will type click here to continue. Now go to home and press new slide. Now change its layout to title only. In the title write your question. My question will be what is the currency of India. Now choose the rectangle shape and insert it over here. The number of rectangles represent the number of choices for the question. So I will have four rectangles. So copy paste them. Okay, now write your choices in each of the rectangular box. Now select the correct option. Go to insert. Click on action. In mouse click, select run macro. And choose the correct option. And for the long answer, do the exact same thing. But instead of correct, choose wrong. Do that for all the three options. Now, if you want to make more questions, select slide number 2 and press duplicate slide. Now, type the new question. Now, select the correct answer. Go to action and run macro, collect. And for the long answer, choose a slide layout 24 dot wrong. You can have as many questions as you want. You can simply start duplicating the question slide and add more questions. You just need to add the correct macro to the correct answer and the wrong macro to the incorrect answer. After you have completed adding all your questions, make a new slide. In home, click on layout and now select the layout which you had made during the master slide view. Okay, now take a rectangle box, draw it at the corner and type exit. Select the exit box, go to insert, click on action. In mouse click, select run macro and choose reset. Now you will have to save this PowerPoint presentation. So click on file, select save as, choose your location, type your file name and in save as type, select PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. By saving in this format, you will be able to edit your file or you can also save as powerpoint macro enabled show in this format you can open your game directly in a slideshow mode all right so type your file name and click save go to slide number one select the subtitle click on insert action and add a hyperlink to next slide okay now let us test our game go to slideshow press from beginning 
So click here to continue. So what is the currency of India? Rupees. As you can see, a box comes here. Correct answer. Your answer is correct. Well done. What is the currency of USA? The answer is dollars. Same message. Now, let me answer a question wrong. What is the largest continent? The answer is Asia. But let me select Africa. And uh, it shows incorrect answer. Your answer is wrong. As you can see, this is what happens when you press the wrong answer. As you can see, it shows I got 45 points. Now click on exit. If uh, this button was not there, uh, the counter would remain 45 instead of 0. So as you can see, there were 6 questions. I answered 5 of them correctly and I answered 1 incorrectly. So 50 minus 5, 45 points. So as you can see, the game works perfectly fine. Now in slide 1, choose a shape and insert it below the hyperlink. In this box, you can write the instructions of the game. I will be typing. For a correct answer, you get 10 points. For an incorrect answer, you get minus 5 points. So that's it. So that is how you create a interactive quiz game in PowerPoint, which can keep points. If you like this video, don't forget to press that like button below. And if you want more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment below. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.